Hello everybody, it is me, Andrew, and this is going to be a show and tell, because I have already opened this box, um, of the Modern Spellcasters Tarot by Melanie Marquis, Marquise, I think it's Marquis, and it is illustrated by Scott Murphy. So it is published by Llewellyn Publishing, and I have to give it to Llewellyn on this, and they've probably heard my bitching and my moaning and my incessant bitching and my incessant moaning about their packaging and how their packaging sucks. Or sucked. Because this box is the shit. So, this is the box. It is very hard. It is very, uh, it reminds me of the Tarot Illuminati, if you got the one with the box and the book and everything. Um, the box is freaking magnetic. Magnetic closure. I mean, whatever. Just done. Like, whatever. So, even though I am not a particularly witchy person, um, I was really, really drawn to the art on this deck. And the the reason I would think I was drawn to this one, and they have the, the Green Witch Terror that's out now as well. And I was like, the artwork is pretty, but it is very, very, very heavily pagan. And I was just like, mm. I just don't understand, like, a lot of the... It would involve a lot more study for me to use that deck than I really wanted to invest in it. Not that I don't want to learn about paganism and witchcraft, because I have books upon books upon books on it. But it's just... When I pick up a tarot deck, I have to... Like, I, I want to be able to lay it out and to be able to kind of read intuit intuitively with it. And I feel like when I see the symbols that I might not necessarily know or remember or understand that it kind of dampens that a little bit. So this this deck seemed very, very um, good when it comes to that. So I'm going to read you the back of the box. I'll show you all sides of the box first. Very nice box. I fucking love this box. So achieve powerful and diverse spell work through the timeless wisdom of tarot. Rich in classic symbolism and alive with marvelous detail and color, Modern Spellcaster's Terror is the perfect choice for improving your divinatory and magic practices. Scott Murphy's stunning artwork showcases the familiar elements of the Rider Waite in a bold new style featuring ancient pagan mythos, diverse ethnicities, and practical spellwork. Meditate on the cards for heightened spiritual awareness. Cast a tarot spell for greater prosperity. Holler! Connect with the elements for increased personal power. Designed for beginners and advanced practitioners alike, this versatile deck will help you create a dynamic union between traditional symbols and today's human experiences. So, I am super excited about this because, while although I'm not particularly witchy and I don't necessarily think that I would ever, not that I would ever, but I'm more of an eclectic person, so I kind of just go with whatever um, is whatever I feel like is right in the moment. So, I mean, if I feel like I want to cast a spell, then I feel like as long as I'm respectful and as long as I have good intention, that I can do that. So, the box flips open like this. There is a lovely design on the inside of the box. This is actually the back of the cards. The book. And the cards were in a little plastic thing, but they are have a little holder, which is awesome. So there's a little ribbon in there, like Llewellyn is, is doing it. I really just wish, and this, I'm just being like stupid now, but I wish that they included a bag like they did with some of the other decks that I had for a while back that were Llewellyn. That'd be very, very nice because I have to keep it in the box and I don't have a bag for it. I think I might have a bag for it laying around somewhere. I have a lot of bags, but I'm just being stupid. Okay, so this is the book. The... Okay. So basically the... It says, A modern approach to spellcasting and paganism with the spellcaster's handbook as your guide you'll combine traditional terror symbolism with contemporary witchcraft for truly magical results. Discover how to use a tarot when you're spellcasting, interpret each card's powerful symbols, and enhance your divinatory skills with easy spreads. I love some spreads. So the guidebook is... So counting, not counting the recommended reading and all that kind of stuff, um, 240 pages. 
thought it was. I thought it looks like it's less than that. It looks like a pretty thin book. But I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I was just saying I was surprised that it's two hundred and forty pages. Must be a lot of information. So yeah, you get to the dedication, acknowledgments, all that kind of stuff. So you get a table of contents. You have the cup, which I think is a poem. Um, chapter one is the anatomy of a tarot. Anatomy of a tarot? Of tarot? It says a tarot, I don't know. Um, tarot deck, care and maintenance. How to read the cards using the tarot for magic. The major arcana, the minor, the minor arcana, if I can talk right. And easy tarot spreads. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the, the poem of the cup. So I'm pretty um, interested to see... How this is. So this is actually by Melanie Marquis, so if you don't want to listen to this part, then just fast forward, because I'm going to read it anyway. Five cups scattered, whole and shattered, under the moon and craving a star. Six swords, swords, six swords carried, grief so buried, the hermit with his light strides on. A cup between each ship, the world, then out the tower it was poured. The hangman hung, the fool came calling, two swords held, forever stalling. Three swords piercing, fortune spokes. Justice laughing at her joke. But here is strength to tame the beast. Three cups raised, a fourth cup speaks. Nine swords behind, nine wands before. Judgment knocking at the door. Nine cups stacked and eight cups drained. The star upon the moon, it rains. Between the pillars, two cups meet. The empress shows the hidden street. The star delights in two cups poured, one in the sea, one on the shore. Watering the earth with fate, two wands watch, eight pentacles wait. From the moon, a drop of sun, through temperance poured back into one. The page, a page's cup, a starry queen, an ace of wands, and a fool to blink. Nine wands scatter and nine swords sink. From the cup, we deeply drink. That is badass. I'm going to have to find her on Twitter and talk to her. So we go to an introduction. I'm not going to read the introduction because if you get the deck, you're going to read it anyway. Anatomy of a Terrorist. So basically, it goes into wands, the, the elements, the correspondences. So you have pentacles, wands, swords, cups. It gives you like the, the basic... Um, like the rundown of each suit, I guess. Elemental correspondences, that kind of stuff. A tarot built for magic. So, oh! Nice! So she gives you a lot of the, the rundown of what the meanings are in the deck of the symbols. So, that's awesome. I'm not sure if the Green Witch Tarot does that. In all fairness, I have not seen the guidebook, so I just want to throw that out there. If you have it, you can let me know in the comments below if it does give you a rundown of symbols and that kind of stuff. I would like to know that. Yin and Yang, the Triketra, square, five-pointed star, hexagram, triangle within a square, eight-pointed star, nine-fold goddess symbol, <coughs> Monad, fish, turtle, dog, squirrel, bird, winged insect, wolf, and bull. So then it goes into numerology in the tarot, and she gives you a book you can read about that. That's awesome. Debt, care, and maintenance. That's kind of neat. Okay, cool. Basic do's and don'ts. Charging your deck. Um... That's always, I think, because I normally just have my own way of, of charging a deck or of cleansing a deck, and it's just a, just a, a simple a simple way. So um, I might actually go into doing this. But a lot of these things, like, they just take too much time. Like, I just don't, I don't have a lot of this stuff, like nine candles. Who has nine candles? Maybe if you're really witchy, you do. Cleansing your deck. Okay, let's just get into this. How to read the cards, tarot reading step by step, developing your own interpretation system, using tarot for magic. So she um, goes into a lot. So basically, you have the card with a almost full page representation. 
you have, and it just goes into the description, the divinatory meanings, and reversed. And then magical uses. Right here, so there's a section for that. So it's the same for the magician, and it's actually the same for every single card. So that's awesome. Each card gets its own little doohickeys. Easy tarot spread. So she gives you a lot of one card draws, um, and then a different kind of Celtic cross. And compare and contrast, four card spread, five card spread, lover spread, creating your own spreads, okay. Now that we've spent a whole 85 minutes looking at the guidebook. Um, this is the back of the cards. This card stock is really different. Um, it's not thick, it's not thin, but it just feels, I don't know, it feels different um, in a good way. I like it. It's just typical, like, mass-produced kind of, you know, card stock. It's not... Horribly amazing, but it's not like shoot me in the face either. So, the fool. Can you see it better on this side? No, it's the same. The magician is badass. I don't know if I showed you the back, because this is the back. It's blue. The high priestess. This is very interesting. I like this. This high priestess a lot. Actually, I'm really drawn to that. I just felt like a like a soul pull to that card. The Empress, I mean, come on. It's amazing. Is that a, it's a rune. Hmm. The Emperor. So I'm guessing this is the Horn God. I'm guessing. The Hierophant, I'm gonna do some digging on this. This is a very interesting card. I've, I I really like this. This is just freaking... That card just resonates with me in such a way I just don't even know how to explain it. The Lovers. So one thing I love about this card is that you do not know if it is a guy and a girl. You don't know if it's two guys and you don't know if it's two girls. I love that. That is awesome. This Chariot card, though, Chariot's my birth card, and I fucking love this card, man. Like, this is an amazing card. Like, this is the one of the best Chariot cards I've ever seen. Ever. 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 Like, hands down. Ever. Strength. Like, the artwork in this deck, like, I want to see if he has prints of this, because this is the Hermit. Because this, this is amazing. This wheel card, I love the wheel card. Shameless plug. I did a, well, not really a plug because what I'm talking about is free, but um, I am part of an ebook from Biddy Tarot and where we all talk about our minor, our major arcana card experiences in our life, and I actually talked about the wheel, so you can check that out. Justice. Justice is, it, it's, it's good. Justice is never one of my favorite cards. The Hangman. And the, just just hold your breath because you, you're gonna faint. The death card, right? The, who who? Temperance. The devil card. I'm okay with the devil card. I'm not over the moon about it, but I like it. The tower card is really interesting because there's people climbing out of the bottom, and I've never seen that in a tower card before. So, or that I, a tower card that I know of that I've, that I've never seen before. I have to go through my decks and look at my tower cards. The star. The moon. The sun. Judgment. This is an amazing judgment card. In the world. So that's the major arcana. So I'm not going to show you all the, all the other cards. Um, this is the A. I'll show you the Aces and some some cute cards that I like. Aces. Oh, the, the Ace of Cups. Two of Cups is two guys. I love that. I've never seen that in a tarot deck before, other than the gay tarot. Which obviously, this is a very very cute, very nice. It's. I feel like there's a lack of LGBT representation in tarot, so I must want to put that out there. So if you're creating a tarot deck. Please give us some LGBT um, characters. Thank you. Or, you know, illustrations. Three of Cups. Um, 
the Five of Cups I thought was pretty interesting. Nine of Cups is definitely makes me think of Bradley Valentine with the genie. Make a wish. Probably one of my favorite nine one of my most favorite Nine of Cups cards. This is the Page of Cups. Again, a very sexual card, I feel. I feel like. Knight of Cups. Okie dokie. Ace of Pentacles. Not going to go through the Pentacles a whole lot. I like how all the knights in this deck are riding animals. It's kind of cool. Like different animals. They are riding horses, you know, in the traditional tarot, but whatever. Ace of Wands. Very Rider Waite Smith is just not. This is straight too far. I like this one. This one's pretty awesome too. We have a lesbian couple in the Four of Wands. So yay, lesbians! Um, this is interesting. Five of Wands. How being a dumbass and just fighting and bickering is going to cause you to get hurt. Six of Wands. Nine of Wands is, is amazing, I feel like, in this one. So, this one really speaks to me about, like, working on something, but being a slave to it at the same time. It capturing you. Nine of Wands. Queen of Wands. This is going to be a fall deck for me. I'm going to be putting one of my other decks up and using this. Ace of Swords. Uh, three of Swords. Eight of Swords. I always like the Eight of Swords card. I don't know why. I really, really like that card. I think it's empowering. And then the Knight of Swords. So, yeah, that's the deck. Um, obviously not all of it. But all in all, I am very impressed with this. I don't think I've been this impressed with... I think I say this after every, after every deck I get, but I really mean it this time. Not that I never really mean it, but I really feel this way. I'm going to be putting away my Dreams of Gaia Terra for a while and working exclusively with, with this deck um, and my Llewellyn Classic Terra. But I really, really, really like this deck. I really feel a calling to this. And who knows, maybe it'll awaken the witch inside of me. Um, never know. So, yeah, that was my unboxing, not unboxing, but show and tell of the Spellcasters Terror by Melanie Marquis and illustrated by Scott Murphy, published by Lou Ellen. So if you like my video, if you like how I talk and how I act and how I am, then you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right here and see more of me. And you can also um, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. I don't tweet that much. Um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. Periscope. All of my um, information is below. And also the information is below if you'd like to book a reading with me as well. So I will be seeing you guys very, very soon. Angel blessings to each and every one of you. And I will be seeing you guys soon. Bye.